another material that's being used more and more frequently in both residential and commercial settings is the flexible duct. It's comprised of the outer foil, insulation, and inside core is the duct itself. It's held in place with plastic. Once all this material melts away, you're left with a big, long, coiled slinky. It's been found that in one foot of a six inch diameter duct, you can have as much as 13 feet of this high tensile strength steel. When all this material melts away, this is what you're left with. This was from an actual fire. This was from an eight inch diameter duct. About six feet was cut out. And this is what you see here. Huge entanglement hazard. So here lies the question you guys. How prepared are you if you encounter this type of material inside a structure fire? It's typically going to be located in the floor and ceiling voids of both commercial and residential buildings. And the big problem that we have with it is that it doesn't take much heat to burn away that foil, insulation, and plastic. And when all that material is gone, you're going to be left with literally a bird nest of this high tensile strength steel. As I mentioned earlier, this was only six feet of an eight inch diameter duct. Try to envision 15, 20 or more feet of this material. Take a look at this picture. It's absolutely insane. Try to envision falling through the floor or having the ceiling and this material drop in on top of you. If that happens, you're literally going to be in a world of hurt. And probably the only thing that's going to get you out of that situation is a good cutting tool. Now, if you're not carrying one at this point, you need to start doing so. In today's market, there are a lot of options out there. Try to find a tool that's going to cut a variety of materials and store it in a location that's quickly and easily accessible in your turnout gear. Stay tuned for more videos on the subject. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. My name's Dale Packle.